Good afternoon and welcome to the 4 o'clock news. I'm Adrian Thomas. A Washington fam a Wa a Washougal family is seeing light at the end of the tunnel after their son was born three months premature after months in the hospital. Their son will finally get to go home. Fox 12's Paulina Aguilar sat down with his mother and shares his story. Well, Adrian, they're calling him their little miracle baby. He still remains here at Randall's, Randall's Children's Hospital. But his mother tells me that they didn't think that he would survive, let alone get to go home. And now they're overjoyed. What was supposed to be an exciting time for Madeline and her husband, Gabe. We went into our um, anatomy scan thinking we were just going to find out the gender. But instead, they received unexpected news. Teddy was diagnosed with intrauterine growth restriction where the baby doesn't grow as expected inside the womb. Turned out, um, we found out that he was incredibly small and very growth restricted. Um, and we had a lot of like placental issues, so he was losing blood flow fast. So the longer he stayed inside, the more dangerous it was. We were sort of given more of a death sentence for him than anything. And in November, Teddy was delivered at 27 weeks weighing just 14 ounces. Smaller than my hand, looking at him made it even scarier. <laughs> he was just so fragile, so tiny, and so dependent on all of this equipment that I didn't understand yet. And hearing that we had less than 10% chance, it was just kind of like, I just wanted to skip those next few days, you know, just wanted it to be over. I mean, they were watching his heart rate, and once it started just dipping constantly, then they were like, okay. <laughs> cruising for a stillbirth, essentially. With two other children at home, Madeline and Gabe leaned on each other. My husband is amazing, and we just kind of tag-teamed it. He would do night shift at the hospital. We'd switch, have breakfast together. I would take the day shift. Our little boy, Elliot, he's held Teddy. He always wants to hold him and kiss him. After battling infections and pneumonia, things took a turn for the better on New Year's Day. We did get a steroid shot, the betamethasone, so that's kind of what got his, they think that saved his life, essentially. And that's what got his lungs able to do anything, really. Now Teddy is a step closer to going home. Uh, medically, um, at that point, he was off of, like, the heavy-duty respiratory support. He um, just had, like, a little nasal cannula. Just trying to build him back up to his full feeds. And he's still on respiratory support, so he does have chronic lung disease. Teddy's journey into the world may have been a difficult one, but made for a happy ending. The doctors, the nurses, the cleaning ladies have like, you know, picked me up off the floor and held me and cried with me and prayed with me. Truly, I've blocked so much of it out. It was such a traumatic thing that we all went through. <laughs> um, but, oh, it like makes me emotional. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to reflect on. A lot of it, a lot of it I don't want to remember because it was so hard. But seeing him now, like, so worth it. Madeline tells me that he hopes to take Teddy home by the end of the week. He will still be on oxygen for a little while, and they'll have to watch and be more careful with germs for his first two years of his life, but he's expected to live a full and happy life. Reporting in North Portland, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12 Oregon.